Hey class, I'm Mr. Thornton, and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, nuclear fission. This topic was suggested by Youssef Bilal, and if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a later video, just leave a comment below. Now, fission is a little bit different to fusion. Fusion is where two small atoms join together to give one larger atom, and you can watch a video on it just here. Fission is kind of the opposite. That is, that it's one very large atom which splits apart. And as it splits apart, it releases energy. We can use this in nuclear power stations. And the two elements, or the two isotopes, uh, which are most commonly used, are uranium-235 and plutonium-239. These two isotopes are used because they split apart comparatively easily. And the way that we get them to split apart is we fire a neutron at the nucleus. And as that neutron enters the nucleus, it destabilizes it. The neutron enters the nucleus, it destabilizes it, it splits in two. And the crucial thing about using uranium-235 and 239 is the way they split. Because as you can see, that nucleus will then release either two or three more neutrons. Now, each one of these neutrons can then go on and cause a neighboring atom to split. So we set off with just one atom splitting. And then in the next round, we might get two or maybe three atoms splitting. Each one of them will also release two or three neutrons. And so we get another round of neutrons spreading on and causing more of their neighbors to split. And it's a little bit like one of those chain emails or chain messages that you might get on Facebook where it says forward this to five friends, forward this to ten friends. In this case, the splitting is being passed on to two or three of the neighbours and it keeps multiplying and multiplying and multiplying and we get a chain reaction. You do need to be familiar with this idea of a chain reaction and the idea that because each time the atom breaks, it releases more neutrons, which can break more atoms, which can release more neutrons. That's the key concept to focus on here. As each atom splits, it releases heat as well. And this is what nuclear power stations use. They use that heat in the same way that any thermal power station would use it. They've just got to be a little bit more careful with the way that they handle their fuel. If you'd like to watch a video on thermal power stations, I've got one right here. I hope that video really helps you. If you want to check how well you understood, then try the snap quiz. The link is right here, and it'll also be in the description, along with all the other links for this video. If you want to check out my other videos, then click right here. If you want to download the free app I've made to help you with your revision, then you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, then you can click right here. Don't forget to leave likes, and if you go to the comments, you can give me feedback and let me know which topics you'd like me to cover next. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.